so here we are and where are we today we are outside from Lane Post Office and from Lane Train Station we're just on a walk down the high street and uh, we're going to make my way to Dunblane Cathedral because from yesterday I saw some people geophysing which is geophysics of the ground where they take x-rays of the ground to see what's under there and they were actually doing uh, a cemetery so I'm going to go down there and find out It looks like we've had quite a bit of rain over the night in Dunblane the yellow water is a very brownish colour and also it's running quite fast and the terrace at the other side which will be very busy coming up as soon as we get the nice weather and a few more degrees so coming up shortly another uh, vlog that I'll be doing is I'll be doing a scone and uh, a latte coffee at the Beach Tree Cafe and also one down the town at uh, another Tilly Tea Room so also to try and get that done over the next few days and compare them both and give you some idea of uh, service and quality of a scone and also the coffee so it looks like the Leighton Library has been finished and Gillies and Farrell, the stonemasons, have done quite a good job on that. I'm not sure when it's opening again. I was talking to David Mercer, and uh, apparently it needs a clean up inside, and it'll probably open for Easter, and that'll be good. I'll come and do a vlog on that, and also for the Dunblane Museum, which is uh, just up the road from there. It's looking quite tidy now, it's been pointed up and some stonework has been replaced by the looks of it. There's a plaque on there but I'm not sure you'll be able to see that, let's give it a try. Ah, the Leighton Library. No, it looks readable, it needs a clean I think. And maybe a chalk. outside the manse which is the reverend's house the reverend of the cathedral nice guy Colin and his wife and I'm not sure what these cottages were for it was part of the church in the days of old and very smart old-fashioned cottages that looks like today in the cathedral hall We've got uh, a we've got cheese and coffees. Very welcome. And then we'll start doing Monday to Friday. So that's good, I've seen that before. Looks like the guys are doing uh, work on the on the gravestones. See the stones are in uh, in need of repair. Looks like they've put some new splintering bars in the bottom. Again, still, that uh, a lot of the gravestones and the area around them is uh, 
fenced off for safety reasons. We're just at the back of the cathedral now, and I think this is the west door. Right? We'll just uh, hang round. You can see the west door. I'm not sure you can see that. So that's the west door. I think it's the west. down to the driving green and also to the, the north of the cathedral. Today Lady H has got with her little Sophie. Just to get some video of Sophie. This is Sophie the Queen, we call her the little queen. This is one of our lucky daycares on a Wednesday. Queen Sophie. So we can see the uh, the markings for the geophys, I think it's geophys, I'll find out in a minute. That was 1870, right? Yeah, 1870. Right, that's fine, great. So, are you doing the, the full So, doing cemetery? all of the graveyard, yeah. Yep. And what are you looking for? Um, I know so it's a silly question, I know what's under there, <laughs> but you're probably looking for graves that, that have not been documented. So yeah, they want a more accurate map of right. essentially everything right. that's underneath, okay. um, because obviously um, they've done a survey and some of the graves are a bit deemed unsafe. Yeah, that's why so they want the, uh, to be able to know what's them. under, yeah, that's excellent, that. so that they could help secure the graves a bit better. So this machine is a, what is it, Hamala? Uh, Mala is the company yeah. and it's a ground penetrating radar, so GPR machine. So how far does that go down? Six foot, ten foot? Uh, so we're scanning, it's set to about two and a half metres right, is so what we're picking foot, up yeah, stuff. Good. But yeah, you can set them to be deeper if you want. But Have you got results yet? Uh, it takes a few, like it takes a while for them to be processed. Right, that's right. And then all the results belong to the people who've paid us. So. Oh right, so they won't be uh, the results won't be there for the public to see, no. I don't know. What's the name of the company that's paying you to do it then? Uh, Historic Scotland, because they own the oh, church. Oh yes, I know. It's, uh, yeah, I know. It's so I imagine at some point the results. Ah, oh, they'll be online. They'll be on one of the local yeah, domain pages. But I can't say anything mm. about a time scale for that. That's great. Not a problem. I just uh, I'm so nosy. <laughs> well, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a tube vlogger, so I'm nosy. You know, I need to know what's <laughs> happening in Dunblane. But yeah, that's great. Because as soon as I seen the machine, I thought that's a fancy one. Because <laughs> I used to watch um, Time Team all the time. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. And they're still knocking them out. I think. I think they're still knocking the one out. But uh, the archaeologists now are getting on the on the older side where they just want to sit down. <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you. By the way, I will see you soon. I'm talking to one of the girls there. Didn't get her on camera. Um, I, I didn't think she wanted to be on the camera. But what they're doing, they're mapping out the full cemetery. On, be, on behalf of Historic Scotland well, we've just got uh, unstable gravestones here and also memorial gravestones on the property of the burial plot owner wow excellent so I think this is the east East end of the church. Not very good with the light. We'll just pan along and then we'll just come back down here. Sort of like a small east gate facing east at the east end of the church. If you can see that, but the clock tower, there's quite a few different types of stone, and over the years, little bits have been added on there. The top being the newest, and then all the way down to the, the base. Some older gravestones here which are actually cast iron, so I'm not sure how old they'll be. So that's 
so that's it that's the end of the video for today um, hopefully you liked the video if you did please like subscribe and click that notification bell for future videos on my channel Lord Rob H see you on the next video bye for now